Um, I've been, well, somebody threw this um, Hoover away, which is Henry uh, Micro. So I'm on the floor today, uh, <laughs> it's the way it is. Um, so this is it, a Henry Micro, and um, it's not working. I'm going to try and open it up and have a look. This is the, the fuse, I've changed the fuse, I've tested it, etc, etc. My thought is maybe the lid is broke somewhere in between, I'm not too sure. So I'm going to open it up and when I, when I came to open it up, um, I had a problem because it's got like a funny shaped screw, uh, screws in there, star screws. So here, here's a star screw there which actually does fit there. So I'm going to open it up, let's have a look what happens after that. Well I left the bottom part, we don't need the bottom part, this has got the motor and all the electronic stuff in there. So we'll open it up and have a look. This is um, this is what it looks like underneath, obviously you've seen it before. So there's a few screws there, screws there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open all of them up. I'm not sure if I can get it working, I'll tell you that right now, but we'll, we'll have a look. Okay, so I have marked, um, marked where things go, just in case. I'm not sure. Okay, so I took three of the screws out and this is what happens. So, there's your motor and your electronic stuff is here. And this, this is just the cable thing that the cable rolls up into, so we don't really need this part. But ha nevertheless, um, I need to check, I need to check um, Hang on, there's a brushes here. Some kind of brushes here. Okay, some kind of... Sorry, there's some kind of brushes here that touch. Now, I'm going to check if that's all working. Because if it's not, I can contact on these things, then it might not work. My understanding is one of these should uh, work with one of these contacts. That one isn't, so let's try this one. Okay, so that, that one's working, which is neutral, but the live is not going through. So that's your live there. Not going through, so I'm pretty sure just the lead that's broke. That's good for me because I don't have to open up any of this electri electrical gadget there right there. And I'll just have to look at the lead and see where it's broke and fix the lead. So, let's have a look. <laughs> because these contacts look pretty well, okay, as you can see. It's a clever way of doing that, actually. I never knew they did that. I was hoping it would just be the lead, to be honest with you. I didn't want to get into that hassle of having that open and everything else. So somewhere here is a live lead not working. Hopefully it feels okay to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece off here and test it. Hi guys, so I found a fault anyway. I cut I cut this much of the wire off and I stripped this wire here and uh, here's a live as you can see. So there's a live and here is a live right here. And it's working now, so this should work. This hoover should work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the contacts a little bit as well and put it together. And let's see if it works after that. So, guys, I put a new plug on and I'm going to see in a minute, but I'm just going to clean up these uh, connectors there just in case. And I'm wondering if it was just that, I'm not sure, but hey, it didn't work before, so this is working now. I'll put it all together. 
and then we'll see how it works. Okay, dokie guys, seems like, oh, I forgot this piece, can you believe it? <laughs> goes in there, goes in there. What we're going to do, what I'll do is I'll test it first before I do anything, because at the end of the day, uh, it's not going to be saying it's okay, and it might not be. Here goes nothing. Yep. Nothing goes, nothing's not working. So I don't know where that is. Um, give me a moment. Okay guys, I've opened it up again. And now this time the neutral is not showing any connection. Before it was, I'm not sure how far this lead is no good or whatever. So I'd like to open this up and find out exactly what's inside this right now. So this is what we got, just basically a lead connected to these brushes really, that's what it is. Okay, what I've done is I've cut both ends of the wire and I've, I've taped them together through my meter because I'm thinking if there's a break somewhere else, I won't know. That's the sound, if I move this wire around. There is on, then it should be okay. In theory. Okay, seems like it's okay. This has got this has got um it's got arrows where how it should, how the lead should go. You can see the arrow there, which is very good indeed. Good design. Hi guys, um, I put it all together now, everything's gone back together nicely and even this which I left out last time I put it together and I put the plug back on. So now time has come to test it, I'm hoping it works this time, if it doesn't we are in a bit of a problem there. Here we go, let's see. 
That was good. That's good. We gotta go in. Well, that's not too bad. What am I? I'm gonna get the bottom half and put it together. Okay, guys, I'll put it all back together. Here we go. Uh, final test. Everything works great. Not bad for a free, free uh, Henry. But my idea is to try something different, experiment with it. I'll try and see what I can do with it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I was hoping it would be more problematic than that, but never mind. It's done and dusted. Take care, bye.